Today we're focusing on the best assault rifles in Modern Warfare 2. And I don't know how they were able to do it so fast, but sim.gg was able to already get some of the Modern Warfare stats on the weapon so you could actually go to the individual category but that information isn't enough to kind of figure out what is good and what isn't so you got to go ahead and take all that data plug it into a spreadsheet and then you got to plug it in to figure out the various damage profiles and what's interesting about the damage profiles for the rifles is there's usually three damage profiles but sometimes there's a fourth one where the gun gets even weaker after a certain damage range so i've gone through and looked at all various of those and we got the cast off 545 as you can see right here and we got the various damage profiles the average shots to kill is a little around three you need some headshots in the mix and you need two headshots to get the lower ttk of three shots to kill and what i did is i basically put that data into another spreadsheet which allowed us to get a graph and for some the graph is going to be a little bit easier to see exactly what's going on we have the stb which is like the rifle aug version and you can see that this thing kills the fastest up close it has a little bit of a damage drop off right around 15 ish meters and then drops off and it has a really good ttk up to about 47 meters and then drops off again and this is kind of where it's going to struggle in terms of bullet velocity aim all those types of things this gets a little bit tricky you're gonna have to hit more shots so this thing is a monster up to about 45 meters and then at really long ranges at long shot range you're really gonna probably struggle a little bit uh with the weapon then we got the m16 which is monstrous up close if you get a one burst kill insane but if not, it's going to be four shots to kill or four shots include a burst in the middle. Semi-auto is probably going to be the way to go for that, even though you do have to spam the trigger finger. Unless you get a one burst kill, this thing doesn't isn't all that powerful. So this is a little bit deceptive. Then we got the cast off 7-4U, which is one of the best weapons from the beta. I have a, a feeling that they nerfed it a little bit. As you can see, this line is very good in the beginning. It competes with these and then it does have a drop off and then it kind of comes middle of the road it kind of overlaps this other line and then goes up and then you can see it kind of goes on and then we got the tac 56 which i think was also nerfed i think they probably added this third drop off here maybe i don't know maybe that was a little bit lower from the beta but overall it feels good up close and there are certain gunfights right around 27 ish meters that you'll start to notice that you're getting outgunned by a few other options obviously there's a bunch of lines this is a graph let's go ahead and kind of look at how they compare head to head and kind of where i've ranked them so here i've sorted them pretty straightforward we got close which is generally going to be close to medium and then we got far which is generally medium to far up close you may struggle obviously against other smgs and then all around is kind of like they're good everywhere but they're maybe not the best everywhere right even though we do have the cast off 762 which came out pretty good in the middle section as pretty dominant but overall the stb was borderline one of those ones that could switch to all around so keep that in mind m16 it's going to be very difficult without uh in burst mode you kind of only want to use it up close if you get a little bit further away semi-auto because the burst spread is a little too far the cast off 7 for you feels good up close as we saw from the data but as you get further away it kind of feels super weak and attack 56 feels pretty good it's finally nice to have a scar that's not limited to a small magazine and then lockman 556 probably has one of the better recoil patterns straight vertical with almost no side to side so pretty much anyone can control that the cast off 545 was generally bad all the way across the board doesn't really excel in one category or another it's just another ak for the sake of having another ak i guess but that is what it is then we got the all-arounders the cast off 762 and the m4 Overall, the cast off 762 feels a lot like an AMAX to me. It has a little bit slower fire rate, right around 600 RPM. It does have a little bit more kick, it feels at range, but in general, it hits pretty hard. The M4 is kind of that all-arounder, which I think most people are leaning in towards that, especially since it's the first weapon you can get access to. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of recoil. The fire rate's over 800, which makes it very manageable. And this kind of fits into where a lot of people would say the meta is, especially for medium to lower skilled players would probably lean in towards the M4 as an all-arounder. Let me know what's the next category you'd like me to check out. Appreciate all the support and the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.